As the electric vehicle industry continues to expand at a rapid pace, a significant challenge becomes increasingly noticeable. The high cost of batteries. Batteries represent the most expensive component in any EV, prompting manufacturers to actively seek a battery that is more affordable, lighter, and more efficient. In the present time, we are closer than ever to realizing this aspiration, thanks to the recent unveiling of a groundbreaking sodium battery by CATL and BYD, the world's two largest battery manufacturers. This new sodium battery has the potential to revolutionize the entire EV market. This time, let's explore the features of this innovative battery and discuss when it will enter production, bringing us closer to witnessing its impact firsthand. Let's dive first into some interesting facts about sodium batteries before we dig deeper. So, suppose you ever take a quick look at the periodic table. In that case, you'll notice that sodium and lithium are like next-door neighbors, and they actually share quite a few similarities when it comes to their physical and chemical properties. But here's something fascinating. Sodium is over a thousand times more abundant than lithium. Sodium is abundant in compounds like sodium chloride, which is just good old table salt. And that abundance makes it much easier to extract compared to the rather tedious process of mining lithium. But aside from that, sourcing sodium is also more sustainable and environmentally friendly than mining lithium, which significantly impacts our planet. So when it comes to availability and eco-friendliness, sodium definitely has a leg up. When it comes to lithium mining, it has gained quite a notorious reputation for releasing a massive amount of carbon dioxide dioxide into the atmosphere. This means it's a big contributor to climate change, which we definitely want to avoid. Also, the chemicals used in lithium mining can be pretty toxic, and they tend to seep into the surrounding areas, including one of our most precious resources, drinking water. It's pretty evident that the environmental toll of mining lithium is way higher than any benefits, hence the need to explore more sustainable alternatives like sodium batteries. One more benefit of sodium over lithium is that sodium ion batteries are much easier to recycle, and they don't rely on rare earth elements that come with their own set of environmental issues. However, on the flip side, lithium and rare earth elements often face massive shortages and price spikes, which makes them unreliable resources for sustainable growth in the industry. To put things into perspective, it's important to talk about the price. The cost of lithium hydroxide has skyrocketed from a mere $6,800 per metric ton in 2019 to an astonishing $80,000 per metric ton today. That's an eye-popping increase of over 1,000% in just two years. In contrast, sodium hydroxide, which is used in sodium batteries, remains comfortably below $300 per metric ton. It's crystal clear that sodium holds a significant advantage when it comes to affordability. This is not only done because sodium offers an easier recycling process and avoids reliance on problematic rare earth elements, but it also boasts a major edge in terms of cost. It's a situation that benefits the environment while also ensuring the EV industry's sustainable growth. Lithium ion batteries have definitely made a name for themselves in terms of their incredible energy density and performance. That's precisely why they are seen being used in those fancy high-performance and long-range Tesla models. They do have their strengths, no doubt about it. But here's the catch. There's a pretty big problem that comes with these batteries. Thermal runaway. There have been reports about electric vehicles going up in flames or even exploding out of the blue. It's a serious safety issue that can't be ignored. And here's where sodium ion batteries come to the rescue. They don't have this thermal runaway problem which means they offer a safer alternative for electric vehicles. So it's not just about performance, it's also about keeping everyone on the road safe and sound. That's exactly why CATL and BYD decided to dive into the development of sodium ion batteries. They saw the potential and the advantage it brings. And in July 2021, CATL made a splash by revealing their sodium ion batteries, which offer an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram. It's slightly lower compared to LFP batteries, but it's still pretty impressive. These batteries may not have the highest energy density on the market, but they bring a whole bunch of other benefits that truly make them a game changer. First off, they are more cost effective to manufacture, which is fantastic news for affordability. On top of that, they perform exceptionally well in low temperatures, so EV drivers won't have to worry about their battery freezing up when the weather gets chilly. And most importantly, the safety. These batteries come with enhanced safety features, giving EV owners peace of mind on the road. The more exciting news is CATL has some big plans in store. 
they are aiming to exceed an impressive energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram with their upcoming sodium ion batteries. Imagine the possibilities. These batteries are expected to hit mass production by 2023. That's just around the corner, and it's a major leap forward in the world of energy storage. So EV owners should get ready for some revolutionary advancements coming their way. CATL's initial sodium ion cells are already impressively affordable, coming in at just $77 per kilowatt hour. Since the second generation is on the horizon, the cost is projected to plummet even further to an astonishing $40 per kilowatt hour, which would be huge news for EV owners. Isn't it fascinating how quickly technology can evolve and change perspectives? Back in 2021, many experts believed that sodium ion batteries were only suitable for specific applications, like energy storage and scooters with with two wheels. Even CATL shared this view at the time. In fact, some analysts went as far as speculating that CATL's sodium ion battery venture was simply a tactic to put pressure on lithium suppliers and push them to lower their prices. But things really take a turn. As the development of sodium ion batteries progressed and lithium prices continued to soar throughout 2022, a new truth emerged. It became increasingly evident that sodium ion batteries had the potential to be a real contender, a viable alternative to lithium ion on batteries in electric vehicles. And then, in November 2022, CATL made it official. They confirmed this groundbreaking development, announcing that their sodium ion batteries were gearing up to power electric vehicles in the future. The game was changing and sodium ion batteries were stepping up to the plate. In December 2022, BYD made an exciting announcement, revealing their plans to kick off mass production in 2023. They had a big surprise up their sleeve, a compact electric hatchback that would be powered by a sodium ion battery pack. Talk about an innovative move. Fast forward to the recent Shanghai Auto Show, where CATL made its own big announcement. They revealed that their sodium ion batteries will be featured in the Cherry iCar, a vehicle that is expected to hit the market by the end of this year. However, BYD wasn't going to be left behind. They also announced that their sodium ion batteries will enter mass production in the second half of this year, starting with their remarkable Seagull model. BYD timed their announcement perfectly, revealing the Seagull at the Shanghai Auto Show for all to see. The Seagull comes in three different versions, each with its own pre-sale price tag ranging from $11,450 to $14,000. The current models are equipped with LFP batteries, but the new versions are going to step it up a notch. They will be powered by BYD's innovative Blade batteries, which have capacities of 30.08 kilowatt hour and 38.88 kilowatt hour. But here's the real kicker. The new Seagull models will be fueled by sodium ion batteries, which brings some fantastic advantages over traditional lithium ion batteries. However, it's important to note that sodium ion batteries do have their limitations, especially when it comes to energy density. To match the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries, you would need more sodium ion batteries, making them less ideal for use in electric vehicles. Despite this, they still offer improved safety and cost effectiveness, which are huge advantages in their own right. It's all about finding the right balance and harnessing the strengths of each technology. The relatively lower energy density of sodium ion batteries poses less of a challenge for grid scale battery storage. Utilities have the advantage of simply installing more sodium ion batteries to compensate for the lower energy density without requiring additional space. In an attempt to reduce China's dominance in the lithium-ion battery market, Congress passed the Inflation Reduction Act in August 2022. However, a shift towards sodium ion batteries may actually lead to an increase in China's control over battery manufacturing. According to consulting firm Benchmark Minerals, out of the 20 sodium battery factories currently planned or under construction worldwide, a staggering 16 are located in China. This means that in just a few years, China will possess nearly 95% of the global capacity for producing sodium batteries. However, it's important to note that lithium battery production will still surpass sodium battery output by a significant margin. Despite China's strong position in lithium production, it faces a unique challenge when it comes to making sodium ion batteries. China has limited access to a key ingredient for sodium production called soda ash, even though it controls a large portion of the world's lithium sources. Meanwhile, the United States holds more than 90% of the world's easily accessible soda ash reserves. These reserves are located under the vast desert of southwestern Wyoming, 
and were formed over 50 million years ago. For many years, soda ash has been mined in this region to meet the needs of the glass manufacturing industry in America. Now, the big question is, will the United States take advantage of this valuable resource and become a major player in the growing sodium ion battery market? Only time will tell if the U.S. will seize this opportunity and leave its mark on sodium ion battery production. It's definitely an exciting path that lies ahead. What does the future hold for sodium ion batteries? And what does this mean for the electric vehicle market in the next few years? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.